Welcome to this uh, new video series of learning with Python. So basically, I will be starting this series and uh, I'll continue with the Scratch. So we'll be learning from the Scratch. If you don't know anything about Python, what is Python? So we'll be going through that all. So uh, don't uh, worry that if you're not from computer science background or anything like that. So it's for all. If you want to learn Python, just go, just go with the series and one by one, I'll explain all. So first is what do you mean by Python? So the word itself is now very big buzz and uh, what do you mean by that? So in simple language, what is Python? It's a vocabulary and set of grammatical, grammatical rules for instructing a computer to do perform tasks. So Python, we say it's a programming language, right? So why I'm writing a vocabulary and a set of grammatical rules? Basically, when you write the Python programming, so you need to know some vocabulary, how to write, what to write and you need some grammatical rules. If you are writing an English sentence, then you have to follow a grammatical rule. So you have to learn that. So if you are writing a Python code also, it's the same. You just have to follow, follow some grammatical rules and what rules and what to write to instruct a computer to do some task. Simply, I'll say if you want to add two, uh, um, simply if you want to add two numbers, just write one plus one, it will add it. And uh, why the word vocabulary and grammatical rules is used here? So basically Python is a high level language and uh, it is written in the understanding of the human, not as per the understanding of the system. So other languages like C, Java and all, so that is the intermediate between them. So you need to define something for a integer and, and all that. So I'll not go to the programming part right now, but I'll say that it is a program or it is a language which human can understand easily and interpret easily. So that is why you use the word grammatical and vocabulary here. Okay, next it's original creator. Who is the original creator? It's Guido van Rusum. So he created this Python and he started the version one to like now Python three is used. We'll come to that later. So named it after the BBC television show Monty Python's Flying Circus. This is a weird history about the Python. So basically what is Python? Just a vocabulary and a grammatical rules and it was created by Guido van Rusum and the name is name has nothing to do with the Python programming. The name came from a television show. So Python doesn't mean anything into the programming. Okay. So next is what is python used for why you can use the python or what are the purposes so here sum up i have just written and it has numerous applications you can do like anything with the python so some things uh, um, important things can it be done is automate the task if you are doing something if the, you want your computer to perform something then you can automate it you don't have to do it manually so write a code and the computer will do it Next is perform calculations. So here I don't mean calculation like 1 plus 1 equals to 2. The big calculation that human brain or your calculators cannot do. Next is create user interfaces. So you can uh, create interactive user interfaces through which you can give input, see the outputs and all. So by the uh, throughout the course we will be going through that as well. Next is create website backends. So generally we see that uh, uh, website backends are generally created with Java or HTML scripts like that. But Python is also a powerful tool for that and you can create the website backends as well. Next is access database. So one of the advantages of Python is that it can access the database, the different types of file types. If it is in local system or it is in web server, wherever it is, it can just access the database and we can work for that. Okay. Next is data science. So here I have only written data science, but it includes the data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning. So all that are part of all those artificial intelligence. So here it, you can use the Python for data science. Now it is nowadays, if you know data science, you get higher package as well. And download information from the internet, as I have uh, told you that uh, access database, it comes under that. And important factor is that it's a versatile language that is easy to learn and write. Okay, easy to learn and easy to write both. So throughout the course, you will find that it is very easy to write and it is very easy to learn as well. So uh, in the course, I will be trying to make it as simple as possible for the beginners because I am considering that you are from a background who do not know nothing about programming. So we'll be going in that way. So next is what are Python's major features? Why it is so important and why you need to learn it? And why it is being used also, right? So 
some it some must have some good feature so that it is so popular and used now fasting it is easy to read and write that i have read, uh, told already so it's on the human understanding language so that's why it is very easy to write and read as well next is you don't need to manually compile your program so basically in the other programming languages so before you run the program or before you execute the program you have to compile the program now what do you mean by compiling so compiling is basically a term used uh, compiling is basically used uh, for the system to understand the program if the system can understand the program properly then you can run the program or execute the program so that is the step of compilation but in python if you use that you don't have to do it manually and uh, in other languages like c c++ java and all you need to compile that manually if no error is there then you can go for the run or execute but in case of python manual compilation is not required the program does uh, its itself so it compiles the program on its own automatically it's done so next is dynamic dynam dynamically typed and uh, what does this dynamically typed means basically when you write uh, any if you want to declare any variable which is type integer so i am not going to the programming part again so i need to say that if you are writing one integer you need to declare that what is the type of the integer so you have to write one syntax like int or integer then the variable name then the value so it happened in other programming languages c c++ java and all but in case of python you don't have to do that it um, automatically detects what is the type of the input you have given it's a character it's a string it's a uh, integer it's a boolean algebra boolean function or it's anything else floating number so it can detect it automatically so that's why it is called dynamically typed so when you type it the what is the type of input automatically detects that so dynamically typed net python doesn't support python does support typing so what is support typing basically uh, when you write a code so you have to remember the code and all you have to write it but in case of python there are uh, python uh, environments where you write the program and it will suggest that what the uh, program you want means like uh, it will suggest that if you write two three letters of a syntax then it will suggest that is this the syntax so it will give you a list so you can just select from that so it does a, it does the support typing which is not available in other languages and the garbage collection so it is a very important uh, factor of python and why it is majorly used also so what is garbage collection uh, next time uh, if you see your uh, windows system uh, just open the temp folder so some people just delete the temp files uh, to make the system faster or reduce some presses uh, space as well in the system so what happens when a program is running it creates so many temporary variables and that is used throughout the programming and when the program ends and the comp tax is completed thus temporary variable stays in your system it takes your cache memory also it takes your system memory also and in that case some memory is actually wasted so that is that are called the garbage values and you need to delete them manually but in case of python so it does it automatically whenever the pro whenever the program is executed and completed it deletes all the uh, temp temporary values or variables that is created so that is one of the major advantage of python so next is what is python popularity why it is so popular and uh, and how the popular looks like in the current scenario now it's 2022 okay so practically it is hard to measure the popularity of a program you cannot say that this program is popular or this program is popular it depends on what is the use of the program why the why we are learning the programming what tasks we want to do depends on that that what program you want to do that's it because c is also used dotnet is a language it's used sql is used and your java is used so so many languages are there it basically depends on what kind of tax you want to perform so we cannot say that what is the popularity of a program but yes python is very popular because it can do almost all the things that can done with other programming languages as well so Uh, if i say the example of sql so basically it will it deals with the database it cannot do further things but when it comes to python then it can handle the database as well so that's why python gain popularity next is python comes in the second place on a well known list of popular programming and from january 2021 and who is the first one first one is the javascript so um, first javascript why because there are some part where java is better than python like website development 
सो वेबसाइट डेवलपमेंट इज ए वेरी हैंडी थिंग इफ यू यूज द जावा देयर इट इज ऑल्सो कैन बी डन विथ पाइथन कोड बट स्टिल द जावा हेज मोर पॉपुलर कंपेयर टू द पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग बिकॉज यू कैन नॉट कंपेयर दैट विथ द वेब डेवलपमेंट पार्ट सो पाइथन्स पॉपुलरिटी इज ए ग्रेट ग्रेट एडवांटेज हियर सो वाई आई एम सेइंग पॉपुलरिटी पॉपुलरिटी इज ए एडवांटेज बट इट शुड बी ऑपोजिट वे एडवांटेजेस इज ए बिकॉज ऑफ द एडवांटेज इट इज पॉपुलर दैट इज ऑल्सो ट्रू बट बिकॉज ऑफ पॉपुलरिटी इट इज इट हैज एडवांटेज दैट इज ऑल्सो ट्रू हाउ बिकॉज इट इज सो पॉपुलर दैट यू कैन फाइंड एनी सैंपल कोड सो सो मेनी ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड सो मेनी मॉड्यूल्स ऑल्सो सो एनी पीपुल कैन डिजाइन ए ओन मॉड्यूल एंड दे कैन गिव इट एंड यू कैन यूज दिट सो दैट्स वाई द पॉपुलरिटी ऑफ द पाइथन हैज मेड सो मेनी यूजर्स और सो मेनी प्रोग्रामर्स टू क्रिएट सैंपल कोड्स क्रिएट मॉड्यूल्स फॉर द पाइथन एंड यू कैन यूज सो बाय द टाइम वील नो वट इज मॉड्यूल वट इज पैकेजेस एंड ऑल सो दैट्स वाई बिकॉज इट्स सो पॉपुलर एंड इट इज इज हट इज ऑल्सो एडवांटेज बिकॉज सो मेनी पीपुल कंट्रीब्यूटेड टू दिस नाउ important factor why you are going to learn because python jobs are generally ranking high on the pay scale so if you learn no python better in a good way then your pay scale is better so if you know the beginners type then you will at least get a job then you can increase there so python jobs are generally ranking on the high pay scale and uh, important factor by the time we learning about we we'll learn about how to use python for data science ai ml and all the parts so there you will know that uh, Uh, it will it will again enhance your skill and you will get higher packages as well and uh, next is what is the history of python so you can say that history of python has started from 1991 when the van rusum publishes python version of 0.9.0 okay this is the first version he published it locally sorry globally and then 1994 python 1.0 came into picture and it includes like functional programming lambda map filter so all these things came into picture and after that in 2000 so after a gap of 6 years python 2 came into picture right and it introduces list comprehensions and garbage collection that advantage i have just told you before garbage collection concept came into that and in 2008 it came to python 3 and fixes the fundamental design flaws and not backwards and compatible that means if you write a code in python 3 it might not be running with the python 2 so it's not backward so that's why written it is back not backward compatible and comes to python uh, 2020 where python 2 version is completely discarded and only python 3 is used so the support and all has been discarded and the last version of python 2 is 2.7.18 and nowadays python 3 is used while we will be doing the programming we will come to know that which version you are using and all so with this video we'll end here and uh, this is just a mere introduction to the python and in the subsequent videos next videos we'll go to the programming part so as a introductory part i thought i'll not discuss about the programming just a introduction to python so basically it is easy no need to fear and uh, you can learn it easily step by step we'll go and uh, that's it from this video and uh, subscribe uh, to stay tuned if when whenever i upload the next video so thank you